Hi everybody, first graders, I miss you. Let's start reading today. Our first one is, can Yak knit? I don't know, can he? And Knox napped. So I'm going to start with this one. We talked before that a yak is a big animal, like a cow, okay? Remember how we look up here to see what skills are we practicing in our book. Here we go. Can yak knit? Can yak knit? Remember, our silent K-N and our G-N. Oh, brother, I would say no, he cannot knit. Look at this mess. Yak sticks gnash. That means they clash together. They're making a lot of noise. Yak gets a big knot. His string is getting all tangled. I'd be frustrated. Can Yak get the knack of knitting? That means is he going to understand how to do it? And is he going to be able to knit something that looks like it should? Maybe a scarf or a sweater. So getting the knack of it means that you're able to do it. Like we're getting the knack of reading these ghost letters. Yes, Yak can knit. Knit, knit, knit. Now don't forget these are all the words you should be practicing and there's helpful things back here too for the focused phonic sounds that we're working on. Okay, keep practicing that book. This one, Knox Nat. Whew, that's a tongue twister. Knox Nat. Knox Nat is sick. That's me. I miss you. Liz Nat is on a trip. Oh, he misses her. Knox Nat sobs. Knock, knock. Liz Nat is back. Woohoo! Oh, that's us when school starts again. Knox Nat is glad. I'll be glad when we get back together. Okay, I want you guys to practice these. Those ghost letters can be tricky, but you are smart and you're going to get the knack of it. Okay, keep on a reading and be watching for more videos. See you guys later.